All right, so I'm gonna be showing how to open up and disassemble this LG Gram. This is model 17Z90N, all right? So the customer said they just bought this laptop and for some reason it doesn't stay on when the battery is removed or when the charger's removed. So we're gonna open this and see. I have a feeling maybe the battery's disconnected. I think, excuse me. I think we're gonna have to remove all these little rubber feet, um, but they are being difficult. So I don't know, I'm a little bit worried that the bottom is gonna get marked up here. I'm gonna try with this plastic tool to see if I can remove these. They don't seem to, okay, there we go. So yeah, these are pretty tough to remove, um, but we are gonna have to remove all of these rubber feet, it seems, okay. So the easiest way is you can kind of get a somewhat sharp tool. You can probably do this with um, with um, a flathead screwdriver, a small enough one. But the best way is you kind of get in there and then you kind of use the sharp edge to kind of help pull it up like this. Okay. Wow, this is really tough. You could probably do this with my fingernails as well, but your fingernails need to be somewhat stiff. I actually got them wet a bit, so now they're kind of like to the point where I can't lift them up. So we're gonna use this because it's a little bit more firm and pull these out. Okay, so just like this. I might have to use my fingernail anyways. Yep, okay, it works with my fingernail, there we go. Okay, these tiny ones are going to be somewhat of a pain. We're definitely going to have to use a special tool to get those out. But um, let's go ahead and get the rest of these. Okay, I'm going to try and do both sides here. Wow, that adhesive is strong. Okay. So we're going to try and get in here and pry this up. I think someone must have done something to this because on this one corner it looked like the material was kind of ripped up a little bit here this metal piece here i don't know if you can see that it's like dented a bit okay this is kind of tough i'm gonna try it with a small flathead screwdriver okay size two and what we're gonna do we're just gonna get in here and kind of keep pressure there, and there we go. That actually works better. Okay, so small flathead screwdriver, get in a little edge, push it all the way towards the center, and then while you're pushing this towards the center, you can use that to help lift it up. And, okay, there we go. If you can get underneath the adhesive, that works best, and there we go. Okay, we're probably gonna have to use a smaller tool to get into these. So I'm gonna switch to a um, size one flathead and see, we're gonna try and get in the little groove here. And we wanna try and push towards the center, okay? And that actually popped out super easily. Okay, same thing, get over here, push in towards the center and pop this up, okay? I don't know if there's a way to do this if there's a softer tool because it does run the risk of bending these a little bit so when you take these out you want to be very careful okay it's sticking all over the place let go all right and the same. okay so you want to go gentle do this slowly don't rush it okay and getting the edge and you kind of just push it over and flip that up. Okay. All right, and last one, hopefully you guys can see. Basically, we're just getting in there and pushing that over and getting that out. Okay, we got all of those out. Now we're going to use a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver. I believe, let me see, we might have to use a Z PH0 or JS0, yeah. So PH0 or JS0 screwdriver, and we're just going to remove all the screws around here. 
Okay, keep all the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that, I put them flat side down like that. In the pattern, I remove them. So we have this rectangular shape. We're just gonna put the screws in that pattern on my desk. If this video helps you out, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right. Anyways, let's continue removing all these screws. There are quite a few, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 screws, all right. Hopefully once we get all of these out, we can use a suction cup or uh, fingernails or pry tools to get them up, get the bottom cover off. Okay. And the last one. All right, we're gonna try a suction cup first. <clears throat> so basically just get the suction cup on there and pull it up. It looks like it comes up from the front here first, as you can see, okay. The suction cup does help because it pulls the cover in a way like this, so it kind of pulls the clips away from the shell. The back seems to be kind of stuck here. Let's rotate this and see if we kind of wiggle and pull this. There we go. And there we go. We got the bottom cover off. Actually, this battery is connected, but it's like inflated here. As you can see, that's not good. So this is actually defective. Um, then you got RAM here, PC4 3200AA. You can somewhat see it through this label, PC4 3200AA. You can use any of that. There's two slots here, I believe, for PCIe, NVMe, SSDs. One is the master drive, and this is the slave drive, I guess. So this is the main slot you would put it in. One screw pops up at an angle, you can pull it out. Let's see if there's any information about the battery here. Again, keep all the screws in order. Yeah, this battery's like inflated, so I don't know if this was a customer return and it had some issues because the customer told me they got ordered it from their online store from Walmart and it wouldn't charge. Okay, so battery, I'm not going to pull it out, but this connector you would kind of just wiggle it. Actually, let me do that. So wiggle that and pull it out. Um, is there a model number here? All right, LB. V7227E, there you go. But you can see this thing's all inflated. It's not supposed to be like that. Keyboard connector, flip a latch, you can pull it out. Trackpad connector, you can also flip a latch back here, pull it out. Speaker connector, wiggle connectors. These have, you grab the wings and wiggle them to pull them out. There's no screws holding them down. They're just held in with this rubber stuff. Um, all right, this wireless board with all these other things are separate from the motherboard or logic board. Two USB ports, micro SD card, and headphone jack are all on this board that can be replaced. And wireless card is soldered onto it. There you go, if that needs to be replaced. There's a model number here, I think, for that board. All right, I don't know what this little connector is, but I'm guessing that's for a fingerprint reader and power button, right? Yeah, power button and fingerprint reader. Okay, antennas, you just pull up on the tails. I'm gonna leave it as is. This has a flip latch here and here. You flip from the black sides, okay? Fan here, three screws. You can probably pull the fan out. I'm not gonna mess with it. Um, this is an M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD and then the LCD LVDS connector. You would peel this up. There's this cable, you can pull it up. Actually, it's this white tab. Um, but I'm not gonna mess with that. If you uh, touch that cable, make sure that you open the laptop, press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds after disconnecting the battery to drain any residual power before uh, messing with it. Anyways, we're gonna put this back together. I'm gonna recommend the customer get a replacement because the battery is um, already bad, all right? I don't know if, again, if that's a, a return, a customer return or what, but definitely the battery in here is not good. So I'm gonna recommend the customer replace the battery. There's also a cable here. Um, I believe that's a keyboard backlight cable and not much else. And yeah, there's only one stick of RAM that you can change. So nothing else to go over. Um, that's it. Charge port is soldered to the motherboard or logic board there. So if you need to replace it, you would have to know how to solder a new one in. But um, yeah, that's all there is to it. We're gonna put this thing back together. 
Um, I guess we can get a screenshot here or for the thumbnail. Okay, it's not really centered. All right, just like that. And then let's go ahead and put the cover back on and should be good to go. All right, so the cover, we're gonna start from the back here and clip that in, work our way down the sides. Okay, and then just click everything in. All right, make sure everything is clicked into place. And then we just get all the screws back in, put the rubber feet back on, and that's all there is to it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, but other than that, that's all there is to it. Make sure you get these rubber feet back in. Okay, I don't know if it matters which side is where. As long as it sticks into place, it should be fine. Okay. And that's pretty much it. <clears throat> Alright, you're welcome to stay as I get all the screws and everything back together. But, yeah, not much else to it. Okay. Last four screws down here and we put back all the little rubber feet. Most likely replacing the battery would fix the problem. But again, this laptop, since they just bought it, there's no point spending that much money on it. Okay, anyways, let's go ahead and stick this all back together. Just get all these little pieces back in, push them down, and we're pretty much good to go. Last screw in. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Let's shop this. Bye.